Springfield Armory XDM 5.25 competition model. About to get a grip with its talon grip. This will be the rubberized variety. So this funny looking pattern you see here is the talon grip for the XDM. And we'll use our basic process. Starts with a dry fit. This is a front wrap. Unlike a lot that start with one panel and wrap around the back, this starts with the front strap and goes equally on both sides. So it's basically your seam is right in the center of the back strap instead of the seam being right here. So when you have these front wrap, they can sometimes be a little more challenging when you have cutouts for logos like you have here on either side. But that looks like a pretty nice fit, doesn't it? So, again, dry fit looks good. I don't see any real area for concern here. So, I think we will proceed. Hands are clean and oil and dirt and grease free. That's important. The next thing we do is we take the alcohol wipe that Talon provides with each grip that they sell. We clean it thoroughly. All right. So we have the pistol frame clean. Now this being a front wrap doesn't really allow me to peel a portion of the grip tape off like I would for a left side to right side type of installation. You kind of have to peel the whole thing off when you're dealing with this type of an installation. I'm really kind of trying to line up the bottom. That's important. Everything else is going to depend on that. And now I'm going to try and lay over one side to see if I'm matching where I want to match. decided to do here is to overlap the fingers of the tabs at the back. I have decided to overlap them and then trim afterwards. But before I do that, I think I will do at least one cycle of heating and smushing. So that looks pretty good. That's has gone on pretty well. All right. That's going to feel nice, too. Definite difference. All right. So let's heat and smush a little bit. Okay. So, get it good and hot. And then smush it nice down into the texture of the grip in the polymer. 
give it a really good bond. You want to let that you want to let that grip tape get a nice deep bond into the polymer texture. So just pressing it or smushing it, as I like to say, with my thumb and forefinger mostly. You want to pay a special attention to areas like this where you have cutouts or openings. And then your tabs and edges. Because if you don't get a really good adhesion there, then um, that's probably where they're going to want to peel. Yeah, I may just leave those and not trim it. I was going to trim vertically down the center of the back strap where those tabs overlap a little and have it make an even seam, but I kind of like the way it fits with the overlap and the fact that there is no seam. I think I might prefer that, so I think I may leave that alone. So you got all these little hockey sticks that protrude, and there's cutouts for those, at least for most of them. There's one, two, three that don't have. Same thing on the other side. And then you have your XDM logo, of course. You want to make sure all those areas are nicely pressed. You have a slight slit, sort of an oval, sort of a half oval or quarter oval slit right there to allow you to press that down into the detents that are on either side, the thumb, thumb rest area. Okay, looking good. Let's heat it again. Ow. Grip safety was a little hot. <laughs> okay, it's looking good. I think we have got ourselves a pistol. So See how it looks. Yeah, what do you think? Not bad, huh? That's yeah, a nice looking job. These rubberized grips are great because they won't, not only they won't uh, irritate your skin, and if you do happen to wear the gun directly against your skin, but they also won't eat up your clothing, as the granulate sometimes can do. I definitely prefer the grip of the granulate, given all, all things being equal, but they're not. So the rubber is a great compromise again to prevent it from being real abrasive and the other thing is too the rubber is uh, a little more aesthetically pleasing than the granulate matches the polymer frame of most handguns pretty well and is less noticeable where the, the granulate is more gray in color. Mm -hmm.